Hey, welcome back to another uh, Magic's Acid Pro or Acid Pro Next. Well, okay, it's the whole Acid Pro series, I guess. So today, like I mentioned in the last episode, we're going to go over the different versions of Ma of Acid and, and which one might suit your needs best so that you're not buying too little of a product or too much of a product to meet your needs. So basically, we're on the Magic's website, which you can go to, and um, we're looking at the music page, and they've got several different versions of music tools that you can pick up. The two we're actually going to be concerned with are Music Maker and Acid. So Music Maker is, is kind of like Acid Lite. It, uh, it basically has a lot of the basic functions, and we'll take a look at the, uh, the Premium Edition so you can see it, and you can see what it looks like, and you can go here as well. But you can see it looks a lot like Acid, but it's it's a little simpler. It's missing some of the features. It's got the same type of loop catalog as you can get. It does pretty much the same thing. It comes with a, a bass uh, generator, a drum and drum, drum machine. You got some some manipulative sounds like that you can work with, like plugins, which is kind of like. Uh, so the propeller head reason stuff, which which I, I don't work in this product very often, so I'm not sure what they call them. But it's basic mixing and matching. And Music Maker 2020 Basic Edition is free. You could try this product for free. It, it comes with some, some loops, it comes with some stuff, some instruments, some effects. Uh, it has multi course support and allow you to run eight tracks at once. Uh, it's a good tool for learning and not paying any money. So once you get this and you start to enjoy it and you start, you, you hit the ceiling on it and you want to do more, I, I wouldn't recommend this upgrade path to go up to plus unless it's something you were sure you wanted to do. But plus is a $59 investment. This is also available on Steam, but I don't think the 2020 version is available on Steam yet. Um, it has all the content in the free version. It comes with more sounds, a sound collection, actually, and a sound pool tool. So you get extra stuff, three extra instruments and a tiny instrument, and then four feature packs, which are the things down here that we were looking at as we went by. So you could see all the different collections and pools and stuff that you can get with it. And, and that's great. But then there's the premium which is usually $228, but it's on sale for $79. Now, if you've tried Acid and it's more tool than you think you're going to need, but you still like making sounds, these are things you need to consider is that Magix has a lot of things on sale. And we're looking at the new purchase, of course. If you already own this product, you could pick the upgrade options, which we'll do in a second, just to see the price differentiation. But to go from the basic version to the plus version is $59. So you're already $59 in. For another $20, you can get the Premium Edition, which has even more stuff. And if you're really serious about it, but you're not serious enough to want to invest in a product like Acid, this would be a great place to go because it gives you lots of tools, lots of things, and the, the sale's actually going on until October 9th, so that's pretty awesome. But there'll be another one. There always is. The, the key with working with products with Magix is if the product is too expensive and it's at the regular price, all you got to do is be patient and wait. They'll mark the price down. They have a lot of sales. But it's the same product. It uses the same basic packages. It's just for the $79, you get more of them. And I got to say, for the value, if this is the product that you're looking at that you want to use, the extra $20 that you're spending right now gives you way more stuff to work with. So as an investment, if you want to work in this product here, for whatever reason, I would say spring the extra $20 at the $79 version. And like I said, regularly it's $228, but Magix has lots of sales. So this is going to be $79 again. So if you miss it now and you're watching this video in the future and it's it's back to the regular price, guess what? Eventually it's going to be back to $79 or less or slightly more. Still a great value as comparative to the, the, the Plus version, which is still a good value as well. So if that's whatever reason you want to get it right now and all you can afford is the Plus version, awesome. Now you got the Plus version and you want to upgrade. 
It's $69 to upgrade from any version of Magic's Music Maker to the 2020 Premium Edition. For the So if you've got an old version, you've got a downgraded version, Magic's is really good about this. They give you a fair amount of credit towards upgrading. Not a lot, but a fair amount. So when I upgraded uh, Vegas, they gave me a, a very big discount off of the upgrade off the upgraded price because I owned a copy of it before, which is a really good thing that they do. I wish they didn't come out with so many versions in so short amount of time, but it, it is one of those things where it's like, okay, I, I upgraded and, and you already got a new version out, so now I got to upgrade again. Um, so kind of keep your eye on that. If you're looking to buy a product, see when the last product they came out with came out. If it's an older product, they may be coming out with a new one. So search some forums and find out before you make a purchase. Because you may end up having to pay an upgrade price if the new version has a feature in it that you happen to like. So we've, we've covered the, the basic music program, Music Maker. Like I said, Music Maker for 2020 Basic Edition is, is a lot like acid that's the only reason i'm comparing it. It, it i'm not going to go into the features i'm not going to go into feature comparisons in this you could do that yourself but i did want to touch on this a little bit we're going to do that on acid because that's more the product that i'm focusing on but i did want to mention this product is similar to it so if you're looking to get into music production and you're not sure how to do it you're not sure if it's for you you, you don't know if you want to you want to get into that genre of doing that you could download this for free try it out and it's not a limited trial. It, you, well, I think it might be. Uh, I don't know. I don't deal too much in music maker. But anyway, it's free. Mess around with it. Do what you want to do. See if this is something you want to pick up. If you do, great. You could pick a tool as to what you want to work with. But this will get you started. All right. So we, you, if you do want to look at the features, you can go in here and see features. And it'll actually break it down probably by feature comparison set between versions. Uh, no, it just lists the features. The acid one's really good because it, it actually uh, shows you per version what you get. I don't see where this one does it. Version comparison, right here. This is what you want. So if you're looking to see if it meets your needs, this is where you, you would go up here and click on version comparison. And it would run down. And I'll, I'll scroll through this slowly. And, and Magix is also really good about this because they, go away, because they actually list prices for versions and the versions that are currently available and then what each one has in it. And this is what I wanna do with the Acid version to show you is what do you need? Because there's a lot of things in here and this is a lot more simplistic than Acid. So this really gives you, there's not much. I mean, you know, how many tracks you wanna work with? Eight, well, eight's the max that's all you're gonna get 425 free loops yeah well, great four free sound pods samples yeah guitar blah 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 effects multi-core support these are the similarities but once you get down here towards the bottom this is where they start to break out and this is the difference in these products as to what do you need and what are you overpaying for so let's go back to music page and let's go look at what we're looking at so what we've got now is we've got acid music studio the loops and the acid products Acid music studio is basically similar to music maker same thing but it's a little bit more complex it's like a light version of acid it gives you more plugins more things to do it's it's a good version if you want to get in in the bottom level of using Magic's Acid. This is not the pro version, this is just the basic version. So let's go to the version comparison because that's where we want to end up and it will tell us what each version has that's available right now. So the, the versions that are available right now are Acid Music Studio 11, Acid Pro 9, Acid Pro 365, Acid Pro Next, and Acid Pro Next Suite. And as you can see, there's a huge, huge difference in the price between these. Music Studio is 60 bucks. Pro 9 is $149. Next is $400. And Next Suite is $599. So if you're getting into this, and there's a reason I'm not talking about 365 yet, 
if you get into this, is the $149 one going to be enough? Or are you going to need to spend another 150 bucks to get next? Or are you going to need to spend another $400 to get next suite? And why would you want to do that? So let's break this down. And before we do that, let's cover what 365 Pro is. 365 Pro is a subscription model that they have where you pay $10 a month and you get access to Acid Pro Next. And it provides you with a loop library and a bunch of other things. We'll go look at the page for that because I think it's a pretty interesting deal, especially for a product that costs this much money. And it's, it's, an, it's an interesting way to look at things. All right. But we'll go down these and just try to remember what order these are in. Uh, everything is 32 and 64 bit, which is awesome because you really want to be able to use 64 bit if you have that ability. And most people these days do. Uh, I don't care about the interface because it's always going to be the same skin. I don't care about. All right. So the MIDI playable chopper. This is where it starts to break down. Acid Music Studio 11 does not allow you to have the music, the MIDI playable chopper. Um, so basically when you're chopping mini tracks, that's gonna, that's gonna be a fallout there. You're not going to get that. And some of these X's are a little hard to see. I kind of wish they would have put it on a darker background. Um, and then you go down to the stem maker, which we're going to cover in a future video. In order to use the stem maker, you actually have to add own pro next. You can't use it in any of these other three. You can use it in these two. And this is where it becomes important. Do you need this product? If you do, you're stuck here. If not, you can still use any of these. Uh, Melodyne Essentials, honestly, I've never used that. So for me, any of them would work. But if you have to have it, well, here you go. You're back up in these two. Uh, tons of acidized loops. This should not be your des your determining factor in which version you purchase. The, um, the loop package that comes with it should not determine which version you buy. It is a nice bonus to what you get, but at no time should when you buy a product, the package of loops that come with it be any indication whatsoever that it should be the product you buy. You can find tons and make your own loops without having to worry about it. Because if you were going to look at 11 and you wanted, oh, I got to buy, I got to buy nine because it has nine gig of loops instead of three. So I'm going to spend an extra $90 on nine no don't 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 let that consideration fall into play if you go in here and you look at this and say oh i get i get six gig more loops you can get six gig more loops for free if you look around the internet you can make six gig of loops in a weekend so don't don't this line doesn't even matter it's nice that they give it to you but the default loops that it comes with are not the loops you're ever going to want to use honestly i do not use these i never touch them ever and uh, they're just usually not quality and they're not done as well. <sighs> there's, there's a lot of factors in this. Maybe someday I'll go through and we'll, we'll make a song using just the loop package that comes with it because I've got the 11 gig of loops. So uh, I'll dig out just those loops and we'll, we'll, we'll make a song with just those. And you can see the difference between those and a quality package that you actually bought just specifically for that by a, a production engineer who actually sat down and wanted to do that for the day. And, and you can see the difference. And, and to me, it makes a big difference. External control surface channel tracking. So if you have some device that you're using to control tracking on a device, um, I can't think of anything right now. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, if you have a device that you're using to, to bump or, or, or or spawn things into your song or, or, or push tracks music studio won't do it so if you've got a controller you're using you, you want to stay up acid pro 9 or higher uh, maximum number of tracks unlimited uh, maximum bit depth 24 bit 192 kilohertz you're good across the board and that's pretty good actually live audio recording it's good in every version so when we get to the live recording part you're going to be able to do this no matter what version you're using. You're not excluded from that, which is great. Customizable keyboard mapping. Uh, I realistically have never mapped my keyboard for anything different. I could see where you would be able to, and it would be nice in some cases, but I've never really worried about it because I honestly don't use the keyboard controls for much at all anyway. Uh, you get 
four total instruments that you can have access to. Now, that varies per version. Acid Music Studio 11 only has access to these two instruments. Acid Pro 9 has access to these three and 365 and Next. But you have to get Acid Pro Next Suite to have the Independence Pro Plus Suite. And if you want more information in that, you can just go look it up. But these are the instruments, the virtual instruments that come with it. And based on that version, if you need all four for whatever reason, you're going to need Acid Pro Next Suite. If you need all four, you already know all this stuff. So that's not going to be really, that's going to be something you already know. If you, the fact that you, you should, well, based on the people who are probably watching this, you're probably going to want to say, it's nice that I get two, three, or four, instead of I have to have all four. Uh, starting out as a beginner or an intermediate or even a, a, a regular moderate midline user, you're probably not going to use more than two of these at any other time. So having all four is awesome. Having three is awesome. Even having two is great. Uh, these are your Vita solo instruments. So the Vita sampler has these instruments included. Uh, which is really weird because I don't know how the Vita sampler, which, well, maybe it doesn't plug into the sampler. Maybe it goes into, oh, Vita 2. You get that. You don't get the sampler. So the Vita 2, you get basically different instruments. Not different. You get additional instruments based on which package you pick. Uh, with the Music Studio 11, you get down to here, and then they stop. So you get the drum engine, the rock drums, the electric piano, urban drums, concert grand, pop drums. Acid Pro 9 takes you down to here. So you get everything up here, lead synth, analog synth. I've used these two a lot. Not particularly those two, but I have used the embedded Vita lead synth, or the embedded lead synth and the embedded analog mod, modded or modulator that they have quite often. Especially when I don't feel like pulling out one of my keyboards. So if you get 365, you get down to here. So you get all this going up. You get Pro Next, sitting pretty much right where 365 is. Now, if you buy Next Suite, you get the rest of these, which is great. If this is where you want to do your live recording and your instrument integration, I don't. I, I've tried it and it's, it's, it's good, but I prefer to use other tools to do my integration like connect or one of those or, or something like that, something other than this. And then I import that data into the DAW to get things to work rather than use the, the, the tools in the DAW. I like to use tools like other, well, use specialized tools that are meant to do these instruments, record it, and then import it. I don't usually do live recordings into ACID. Uh, the main reason being is because when I'm recording, I can set up like a multi-track sampler recorder and I can actually play multiple parts and I can actually incorporate a lot of the, the bar that I'm trying to do into one track and drop it instead of having to do it multiple, multiple times even though ACID does kind of act like a multi-track a lot of times. So uh, if you want mixing and editing tools, this is probably the core of what you're going to be looking for. ACID M Music Studio 11 only has beat mapping and uh, the normalized invert phase and lock. Those are excellent features to have. So you're definitely going to want to use all of those all the time anyway. Because the beat mapping works awesome because when you do tempo changes, it will stretch things a little bit to make things fit. So it's kind of like hazing your stuff to get it in when you can't quite get it to where you want it. It'll help, it'll help you, help you, help you. Uh, it'll help you get those in there so that you can, you can kind of blend it in a little bit better. So if you're doing something that has an erratic drum beat that you, you just can't get it to fit quite right, you can beat map that track and make it a little bit smoother and it'll actually sit a little bit better in your track when you're done manipulating it. So it's really a good feature and they all have it, but that's all you get. 
Uh, with Acid Pro 9, you get everything, the 5-1 surround mixing, which is, which is pretty nice, uh, real-time rendering and bus-to-bus -bus routing, and the professional loudness metering comes in in, in Pro Next and Next Suite. So if you need any of this stuff, if you're doing professional level stuff, these are the things you need to look at. What do you need to do? I need to do 5.1 surround sound. Well, then I got, I can't get Acid Music Studio 11. Effects and MIDI. So we're coming down here and these are the things that you want to do for support for VSTs and things like that. What VST things would do you use? Uh, what things do you, uh, it's contact I was thinking of, man. I've been out of the sun all day, so. Um, if you use any of these minis and effects and, and whatnot to import your stuff in, well, is it on the list? Is this something you need to work with? So is this compatible with what you're trying to, to integrate into it? And if these are an issue, you'll know. This is not something you're just going to go, I, I wonder if I need this. Pretty much you probably won't if you have to ask that question. And your export formats. All the export formats are open. So you can do FLAC, AAC, WAV, WAV64, MP3, and Windows Media Audio support. And that goes across all versions. So that covers the versions of ACID that are currently out. And these are your choices. Now, which one's the right one for you? Now, I already mentioned the Music Maker, and it's a good tool to get started if you just want to try it. Acid Music Studio 11 also has a free trial. You could try that. The upgrade price is about 20 bucks cheaper if you have a previous version of Music Stu Acid Music Studio that you want to upgrade. And if you step up to Pro, you get to see the tool that we're working on. This is the previous version. This is version 9. Nine's price also has a free trial. New purchase is $149. $99 is the upgrade. And then you get up into Next and Next 365 and Next Suite. Next Suite is like top of the line. But let's look at Next 365 and Pro 365. So basically this is a tool that you can get and we're gonna we're gonna look at the next 365 which is actually twenty dollars a month. So you get a subscription that you pay Magix every month to be able to use this tool on your workstation and you get you can pay in a three month plan or a 12 month plan. So be aware of that. You're gonna pay $68.97 for three months or $239.88 for 12 months. So for some people, that's actually a big deal because you can't just walk into it and go, I wanna try it for a month. It doesn't work that way. You have to pay three months up front or a year up front. So the three months price is $22.99 a month. The 12 month is $19.99 a month. And this is for next 365. We'll look at the other one in a minute. This is the current newest one. And what this allows you is this allows you access to a large library of software and tools that you can use for your music production. And everything gives you the same features. The only difference is the payment plan but it gives you additional instruments and it also gives you some other things. And as we saw on the other list, there are some things that are not included, but you can look at the feature edition if this is something that's interesting to you. So now let's look at the Acid Pro 365, which is pretty similar to the nine version, which also only has a subscription based on a three month or a 12 month schedule. So the three month schedule is $29.97 for three months. It comes out to $9.99 a month. And the 12 month option is $95.88, which is $7.99 a month. If you're, this is something you know you wanna do and you've gotta devote some time and effort to it, and you want a subscription to be kept up to date, get to see the latest things, get access to additional packages and whatnot, this is where you wanna be. You don't necessarily have to buy the whole thing, but over the course of about a year and a half of using it, you will have paid for the product anyway just the difference is you don't actually get the product. You get to continue paying for it. Great option to get into it. 
I would say if you're doing this, go with the three month plan rather than the 12 month plan. The bad part is, is if you're doing this, I don't think you get access to the upgrade of prices for the new versions. So you don't get to access like, uh, when I upgraded version three to version four, I got a special price. If I would have had a subscription and I was using the subscription for version three, hypothetically, because they didn't have it, I would not get, I would not be eligible for the upgrade price for version four because I don't own the product. So I'd have to pay full price for version four if I wanted to use it. Keep that in mind if you're paying for this for a year. You're going to be kept up to date and you're going to have a lot of things that are beneficial to you because you're paying a subscription plan, but you pretty much get the exact same things or can find the exact same things in the non-subscription version. And if you're paying for a year, you're almost all the way to the end of the product anyway. You might as well buy it. So those are my thoughts on the 365 version. It's a great idea if you're economizing over three months to decide whether this is something you want to do. If you're doing it long term, long term coming down here to the price, you've you've almost bought the product at the end of the year. But you don't own the product. If you stop paying them the subscription price, you lose access to it. And you don't get access to the cheaper upgrade price to a new version if it does come out. So keep those two things in mind. Because you have to have your serial number. All right. So today, like I said, we covered all the different versions of Acid that are out right now. Kind of some of the features that were important. Talked about what might be important to you when considering what product to buy. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then... Uh, the differences between all the versions. Well, I need something to drink. <clears throat> anyway, I hope this helps you in determining if this is something you want to do, what product level you want to buy. I gave you all the options for all of Magic's DAWs that you could possibly get. I gave you some insight into what I think and I prefer. The version that I have is <clears throat> the Acid Pro Suite, or I'm sorry, Acid Pro 365. Oh, God, <clears throat> wow, I am, I'm sorry. Uh, I have Acid Pro Next. I don't have the suite, I don't need it, but this is the one I use. Let's look at the loops before we go, if it'll let me. And that way you can see, come on. All right, so we've got loop packs that you can purchase. And there's not a lot of them. When Sony had this, there were hundreds of them. Looks like they have uh, four, six. So let's, let's look at Monsters of Rock. I don't wanna play it because obviously That'd be a bad thing. All right, so each package in this particular example, they're a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz high-res audio, which is great for uh, your product. You get you can get commercial royalty free, or you can get non-commercial. Drops the price if you're not actually using it to make money or whatnot. But if you get the royalty free ones. That says that you uh, you don't have to pay royalties if you use it in a commercial manner. Anyway, you get 374 samples for 40 bucks. Seven kits, 21 drum loops, 16 sh one shots, and uh, it's about 742 to 1.57 gig of data. This is a typical loop pack for acid. So let's look at what they've got. So they've got a bunch of different genres that you can look for. Oktoberfest. Hey, there's an idea. Modern country, classic country, trance, underground text, silo dance. 
all the different genres you want to go to and they range anywhere from looks like 20 bucks on up on producer planet so choose what you want to do go give them a listen see if this is something you did want to do yes this is an additional expense but you're picking the things that fit in your genre with the free things that they give you let's say you're doing electro or dance music <clears throat> how many country loops are you going to be able to fit into your electro if you're getting a default package set of loops you're going to get a bunch of country ones a bunch of rock ones a bunch of other things that don't have anything to do with what you want to do them want to do with them you go down and you pick out uh let's say uh new retro or a new retro wave that's your thing 80s it's kind of my thing so i i like this one i get this i get there's two parts i get 477 loops that are in my genre that i work in 70 bass loops seven drum kits 21 fx loops 30 fx loops uh, for universal pitches 21 keys loops 63 pads 98 sequences 119 synth that's pretty much all you need to make a new wave song that's your that's your your palette that you work with and they're in different keys and whatever you need them to be and you can rekey them and do whatever you need to do but for 19.99 i get something that's in my specific genre that i work in instead of a huge compilation of six gigabytes of loops that i'm never going to use because i'm never going to use downtown soul or smooth r b and there's a lot of those in there so uh, when i said they weren't the best loops i'm not i don't mean that they're not quality a quality product they're just not the product that focuses on the genre that you're interested in doing so that's where they lose value to you and that's why it should not make a difference for the the additional loops that it comes with what you get because you're going to get stuff that you're never going to use if three gigabytes of loops that comes with the default is three gigabytes of loops it's a bonus that you can use for filler and whatnot that's awesome but the fact that you're getting another six gigabytes of loops is not necessarily a good thing because you get six gigabytes of extra six gigabytes of loops there's going to be some stuff you're going to use but there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff you're not a total of nine gigabytes of focused loops that if you could pick the genre you work in and get nine gigabytes of loops in that genre would be awesome but you can't you get the default and the default has all kinds of junk in it that is not what you're looking for regardless of the kind of music you produce i can imagine if somebody's using this to produce country they're going to have 95 percent of that whole package is going to be worthless to them and the fact that it is just makes it not a value that you have to consider because you're going to end up going i need more stuff and i need more x more blah more more pop vocals so i'm gonna buy this so i'm getting this anyway so i just want to clarify that it's not that they're horrible loops they're not like trash don't get me wrong but they in a lot of cases they might as well be because you don't get things that are focused in the area that you're trying to work in so you're going to come here and you're going to spend money and you're going to buy loot packages anyway or you're going to make your own completely your choice but either way that's where it does not have any value because you're not going to get the money out of it because of that particular fact the rest of it is just a matter of is there an x in the box or not but that is a very tempting figure for some people who are new to this i get more stuff well you get might get more stuff just not stuff you're going to use so there's that and i think that pretty much sums up this particular one and like i said this one is going to be kind of this one and the last one are going to be kind of boring because the last one covered basic operation of the application this one covered features and considerations for purchase and uh, probably next week we're going to get back into more effects and things that we're doing with our song and that'll be great but i did want to take the time to actually sit down and say what do i need to know when i'm 
buying this application. So I don't make a poor choice. And hopefully that answers your questions. If you have additional questions, is there anything else you want to know about this particular aspect of it or another aspect of it, drop a comment down below. I did go over the amount of time I usually do for these by a little bit. So I apologize for that. But I did want to make sure I covered everything as completely as possible. And hopefully this kind of enlightened you a little bit into all the different versions because I know going into this it can be very confusing when you see five, six, seven, eight different, nine different applications and which one should I get and oh the heck with this I'm not doing it. Well hopefully that removes some of that that trepidation for you and you'll actually be able to get in there and see what is what and what works for you. I'm going to put a link to the Magic's website down below like I always do. And also put a link to Producer Planet down below so you can look at some of these loops yourself so you can see which ones might work for your needs because that's kind of important. But uh, definitely take a moment and, and, and drop any questions down below because I, I really entertain the, the, the idea of answering them. It helps me out a lot in making a future tutorial because it's, it's kind of difficult for me to figure out what you guys want to learn about so I'm kind of taking you through things the way I figured things out when I started as best I can remember and what was interesting to me. But what's interesting to me isn't always as interesting to somebody else. So I want to hear what you want to learn. I'll show you whatever you want to know, whatever we can do. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week with another pro, Acid Pro tutorial and we'll have <laughs> more fun then. Uh, next week's going to be uh, manipulation of panning and volume and fade. And uh, we're also going to do a couple other things, I think. But we're going to start with a new track. We're not going to use our tutorial track because we're going to use drones because they're really easy to pan. Uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.